We're in the bus park in Morant Bay and this singer is all the way from Trelawney. He has been pursuing music professionally for the past five years. Let's meet singer Trinzik in this week's Up Next segment. Up Next is brought to you by Magnum Tonic Wine. Take charge. Hey, me grow up and see my mother work. I'm a father work and work hard too. And in life, they move, I want me leave. I don't want to feel if you can't do it. Hey, me grow up and see my brother work. I'm a sister work and work hard too. Music began for me in church at a tender age. I know most artists would say that, but that's really how music began for me, you know? Both parents, Christian, growing up in the church. I used to sing at a lot of concerts in the community. Even churches in the community would take me out as a child to enter competition for their churches and we would win gold medal and stuff, you know. So I mean I was just it was just a joy growing up singing, you know. Even in high school I was lead singer for choir and stuff like that, but I still really wasn't made in music on a professional level. And then um, in 2016, I started a college in Montego Bay where the principal there was or is a producer, you know, so I make beats and stuff. And then I met a friend there by the name of Ecstasy and he said, Yo, Trinzik, come with God's student, man. And I was just there. The, at the time, it was just a portable studio in a classroom. They just had the equipment and stuff, and we were just there. And I did my first official song, well, my first song in 2016, and then everybody was like, yo, you need to take on this music thing, you know, and then I said, why not? Because, I mean, I have the voice already. Yo, my life, never easy like, no one to treat me like, never cut out like no foot on cardboard when shoes for buy, no, them a premium life, because them see me life, I make a rise and dog them feet, those are easy fight, I wear them there when, man, I work and can't sleep for night. When I grew up in uh, Trelawney, Joe Hutt Trelawney. So, you know, church was in Joe Hutt Trelawney, just the same. Went to Lower River Primary in Albertown High, then um, the Cartwright College for Sixth Farm, uh, Brownstone Community College, and then Western Hospitality Institute. It has been a, a journey, a tedious one, you know. You go out, you meet people, people see the talent and um, Trinzik, link me number and take my number, I can get this done for you or give me a number, I can get this done for you, you know. And I'm the type of person who is not going to shut down anybody. Do some songs, link up a few um, selectors and stuff, read a disc job. You know, they say, yo, song bud, email it to me, I'm going to make this work for you, da da da. Whole nine yards, you don't hear anything about it, you do a follow up, you know. You know, when I get a chance to get round to that, you know, you have to send songs to your music library and rate it, and then, you know, so it's sometimes it amazes me because, I mean, like, in some instances, you will realize a song got released today, and then tomorrow, it's on the radio. Say minimum wage can't even carry your back a work And if you're here from certain places you can't even get a proper work But still the time I move, then you see how the clock a work That was a man forget a strap and show them how the shot a work Vibes Cartel is really a talented artist and I, I like the way he structures his lyrics I understand performance wise I look up to Bojo Bant and Barry Salmon The young Romain Virgo and Chris Martin just the same Musically, I think I bring um, upliftment, upliftment to the younger generation. So I went to school with Takeover, you know Takeover, right? I went to school with Takeover. Takeover got onto the scene and stuff, and we were communicating, and he said, yo, one day you can pass by the studio. And so I happened to pass by the studio one day. They were playing some instrumental, and I was just freestyling some songs. And Ricky C was like, yo, you have a talent, you know? The thing, I got to work if you work on it. And him say, you know what? Link me next week, I got to voice your first song for you. Because them grow and see them mother work, and them father work, and work hard too. And I want to be motivation to the world, not just Jamaica. So that's the aim. I want to see a better way. I want to see, I want to see a better day. Carissa Wright has something cooking, Panda Fire. Let's hear what this pan chicken vendor has to say in this week's feature of Panda Fire. 
Pondifier is brought to you by CB Chicken, the better tasting chicken and bad dog, bigger, better, badder. Hi, Carissa Wright, CB Pan Chicken 2019 winner. And I also operate Girlie's Chicken and Soup Corner here in White Horses, St. Thomas. I have been in the pan chicken business for almost 10 years. How has it been for you? It has been great. What makes the experience great for you? Because I enjoy doing what I do. This is what I enjoy doing. I love doing this. I love jerking chicken. And uh, it pays the bills. <laughs> What I like most about being a pan chicken vendor, I'm doing my own thing. And I work with myself and I enjoy jerking chicken. I like to see the smile on people's faces when they purchase their chicken and enjoying it. How much of a motivation is it to see the smiles on these people's faces? It motivates me even more, you know, to keep going because trust me, sometimes I'm tired really tired but because I know that persons are looking forward to seeing me on a Friday or a Saturday I still made the effort and pushed forward to come but sometimes I'm really tired on Fridays and Saturday evenings I'm here maybe after five up until curfew hours who is the sauce boss tonight in third place the miracle sauce competition there is a tie for third Third place, I have a tie, and it ain't no lie. Third place goes to Teresa Wright and Rashawn Robinson. Teresa Wright and Rashawn Robinson. CB Pan Chicken Championship. Yes, I invested all of that money. I had nothing to open a restaurant and I put all of that into my restaurant. So that's where my winnings went to. <laughs> I have been at White Horses from I started doing Pan Chicken. This is where I started. So I decided not to give up my spot. Um, reason being, in case the restaurant thing doesn't work out and I'm not doing that anymore, I have this to come back to. So this is where I started, so I can't give up right here. Persons who are interested or would like to do pan chicken, I would advise you to go ahead. But if it, you're not going to give it your all, it doesn't make any sense. Because persons are going to come for good things. So if your thing is proper, then they're going to come for it. Persons who are miserable and a bit grumpy, I offer them a cup of soup or give them a smile because sometimes they get real upset like if I come late and the chicken already so I have to sweet them up. Tell them something for them just stay. I tell them all five minutes when the chicken actually will take 20 minutes. <laughs> Why did you re-enter the pan chicken competition? I re-entered because I knew I had a shot at winning and I went back to the drawing board and I redid my thing. So yeah. In 2017 it was just plain jerk chicken because that was my first time entering and I had no experience or anything like that and I just did the regular jerk chicken. But going back into 2019 I deboned the chicken leg and tie stuff them and then jerk them. When, when, when you won, what was the vibe like here in White Horses? What were your neighbors and your friends? How did they react to you? Everybody was excited when I won. 
um, persons came from all over to congratulate me and the sales picked up from what it was it was like shoot off <laughs> Generation is up after the break. So forward. Ray and Neville, Pewee Culture. Yo! New beginning, we winning, so share our spirit where you're living, yeah. Share it. I make we all a one bar, you don't know we come from far. From far, eh. Anytime we read Pewee Country, we are rum, it's a big come with me. No matter with the bad vibes, who are we rum, a celebration time. We are rum. A Pewee Culture. We are rum. Make we sure, yeah. We Jamaican culture. We are nephew overproof. I'm just a dream to the culture.